Right, afternoon, I'm uh, just getting this field tied up, I'm trying to anyway. Um, last time I was baling I had quite a few troubles with lopsided bales, so I played around with the, I guess you call them the stuffer fingers, the two fingers that pull it into the chamber, I played around with them and uh, I've gone from getting lopsided bales at one side to getting them at the other although I think I'm getting it just I'm getting it sorted I've just had to play with it a bit in the field it's just uh, yeah headland and what have you I had some real issues with it some and the trouble was when they were lopsided before, they were lopsided at this side of the sledge, so I could see them if they wouldn't go through the sledge. Well, now that they're lopsided at the other side, I can't necessarily see if they jam up or not. I'm definitely struggling to keep the baler fed. I can't practically go any faster than I'm going. I'm going about four mile an hour. And it's, well, it's in places I could do to be going twice that fast, but it just didn't, isn't smooth enough. Other thing with it not being very smooth in this field is every now and again the sledge jumps over the bales. It goes into a bales drop into a hole and sledge rises and then it's left them and or left three of them and you know it's not a good field for a flat eight sledge to work well in. It's got like just in front of me is a big uh, sort of rise in it, a ridge and it it goes up this bit, but some of the littler ones, it seems to just leave the odd bale. The odd bale gets underneath the sledge, which is a pain. Just have to slow down a little bit and just watch. Because I've had them, they get, sometimes the tailgate on the sledge jumps and they get sort of wedged half underneath it and it'll uh, split the bales. But, I'm getting it baled which is the main thing. It isn't the prettiest stuff. It's very sort of brown, well it's very, I don't know, mucky coloured. But it'll do, it'll feed sheep, so. I think the bales are getting squared up. I'm in, I'm in the good side, the side of the field that's got the most hay on at the moment. And we seem to be just about managing. I think I'm gonna have to, uh, well, if I can afford to when I've sold this lot, I'm gonna have to look into a better tedder and a better turner. I, maybe a combination, like a, well, like a bob, but better, because, uh, in this field, the hay bob, it didn't do a good enough job chucking it about. It leaves it in your, two, in your sort of rows. And when you come to row it up, it makes it real uneven if you're not perfectly on the same set of rows every time. And like this field, you have to do around these trees. And so, because it didn't tear it out evenly, you can't row it up evenly and you get sort of really lumpy rows which is another reason why I can't well it's not it's not matching at the moment but at the other side of the field I could go up another gear but just every now and again it rows there's a real heavy bit that might choke the baler so I might uh, well I'll definitely look into a better uh, tether if I could tear it out so that it's, yeah, he's... I've just lost another, uh... bloody hell, I've just had another bale jump underneath, look. Yeah, if I could get a better tether that spread it out, completely covering the grass, covering the grass underneath with the hay on top, all nice and even it would row up a lot uh, into a lot more consistent rows which would be a lot better for baling 
I mean the hay bob's not too bad for rowing up but uh, rowing up after you've teddied out where the rolls at maybe quite where you want them to be it's, it leaves tall bits and well high rows and low rows sort of thing <laughs> so I must I'm so what I'm doing a bit on headlands if they're rough headlands is dropping just four bales instead of eight I can still pick four up with grab but it's better than ending up with uh, like I have up there where I've got one bale come out of the sledge because I can't pick three up sort of thing so because it's not making many bales per run I think I'd be better dropping four bales at the end of each run rather than uh, risking them coming out of the sledge it'll make it a bit more interesting to uh, collect but it's, it's just going to be the way it is coming out short well this was one from the headland where I had loads of trouble I've ended up sort of um, slackening the bales off quite a bit so that there's not really there isn't so much what's the word so much tension at play they can just be a little bit softer but as you can see they're all <laughs> over the place of these headland ones and they're a bit uh, good for the hands and very stroy. They are quite warm as well, which, well, what can you do? Wow, that's a good one. <laughs> Bloody hell. Right dinky bugger. I think I'll, let you, I'll leave it at that. I'm running out of battery. Hopefully that. Yep, we're good. Right, yeah. Leave it at that. I'll uh, carry on. At least we're getting it tied up. It's supposed to be in. There's a 30% chance of rain at 4 o'clock and it's half past 3. It doesn't look too bad, but I might be speaking too soon. Anyway, I'll catch you later.